you guys welcome back to my channel vibing after dark underscore with mo and if you're new to my channel how about hit that subscribe button and if you're a returning subscriber how about send it to a family or a friend so they can vibe out with us and please 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 make sure you like this video that helps out a lot and thanks in advance all right you guys so as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail we are going to be talking about blue face court hearing and who all went who didn't go the rumors what was the truth and what was not so let's get straight into the video Okay, so one person for sure who went was Blueface Dad. And Blueface Dad shared a reel and he said, Keep your head up, stay strong, and pray it up. You'll be coming home soon. I love you. And it was like a video, but I can't post a video because it had music playing. And in the caption, he said, Saw my son today feeling blessed. He is looking and feeling good, y'all. He will be back stronger than ever. Son, dad, support, love, kids, family, relationships, free Blueface. So in that reel, he posted like a few pictures or whatever, and he posted basically like family, basically everything they probably did around the, you know, the hearing or whatever, like go out to eat before or after and just things like that. And so somebody in the comment section said, why not post journey? You trying to choose side? Now you can't see Blue's real kids? And somebody answered her and she said he has already explained that he reached out to Jada and she did not respond. So she isn't allowing access to the kids. He will have to wait until Blue gets out. And somebody else basically kind of said the same thing. They said he already spoke on that. It's not him choosing sides. Maybe Jaden doesn't want him facilitating the visits. Maybe she's waiting for Blue to come home. But y'all, what I really think it is, and I could be wrong. I'm just thinking it's my opinion. Like I said, I could very well be wrong. I kind of feel like Jaden kind of stepped back from Blueface's dad when he started claiming Junior and posting Junior a lot because even Carlissa said Jaden switched up on her and her mood started to change and she started talking to her funny when she told Jaden if it was Junior was Blueface's son then they all would have to accept Junior because like basically it's not his fault he didn't ask to be here and when she went to go see Junior for the first time Jaden did not like that. So I don't know if y'all remember if y'all watched one of my videos this is when Carlissa said that Blueface stopped talking to his mom Carlissa because he didn't like how she was talking to Jaden but she said she never told Blueface why she was talking to Jaden because Jaden was talking to her funny because of the fact that she told her that they would have to accept Junior so that's my opinion on why I feel like Jaden is really not associating herself with Blueface dad because in her mind she probably feel like Blueface dad really did choose a side by accepting Junior and having Krishan and Junior stay with him. So she probably keeping the kids away from Blueface dad because she probably just feel, you know, betrayed. And just in case you try to debate what I'm saying by saying, well, she still talks to Blue. Y'all know a lot of women be mad at the wrong person when their man did something wrong. Even like in this situation right here, her and Rock been beefing forever when the common denominator is Blueface. He playing both of them, but they still want Blueface. Blueface had the baby. As long as she don't have to see the baby, she'll be fine with Blueface. But she's going to be mad at the grandparents for accepting the child. But anyway, that's just how I feel about the situation. But to piggyback off the comment when the girl said, why not post Journey? A lot of people is mad at Blueface's dad because he do spend a lot of time with Krishan. And I see a lot of times in the comment section, they do ask about the other kids. Just like when Krishan did this video right here and it showed a lot of Junior and... The video went viral because a lot of people was picking apart Krishan for everything that she did while she was pregnant. And it was calling, you know, all, everything that they were saying about uh, Junior, about him having disabilities and things like that. So Blueface dad posted a video basically without saying anything. He showed him holding the book and he showed him like kind of using his leg, like strengthening his leg because people were saying like he's not, you know, standing and he's not doing too much of uh, movement at the age he is basically debunking what everybody had to say so here's the video right here but anyway back to the topic at hand Jaden and journey went to see blueface too along with Krishan, his friend and some people from his team but it was rumored that blueface got to hold junior and kiss junior and they were saying that journey was calling for blue and blue didn't really had too much to say to Journey, being that his focus was on Krishan and Junior. Since then, Jaden hasn't came out and spoke on the situation at all. But someone who didn't get to see Blueface was Carlissa. Now, a lot of people was in the comment section was saying like, you know, Blueface don't want her there and Blueface don't like her and things like that. So Carlissa says she didn't go 
because of this reason. Son don't want nothing to do with you. That's on him, baby. I ain't like your own son don't want nothing to do with you. That's on him, baby. I ain't the one in there. I'm out here. <laughs> that sounds like a personal problem. That's what he told Wack. He didn't want me in there crying. I, I'm not, I've been, I done done a rodeo before. I ain't gonna be in there crying. Now I will say my piece to the judge before we walk out. I will let her know how I feel as his mother. And that usually does go in the, the person's favor. That, But you know, you'd have to know that and been through that. So I would definitely speak, I wouldn't break down and cry, but I would definitely speak to the judge and let her look in my eyes and let her know what I think. I think home on house arrest at a, at a location that nobody is at, like the one he was at in Vegas, on house arrest would work for him. He a hard, he ain't that hard headed. So do y'all believe Blueface didn't want her there because he didn't want to see her crying and her being sad? Or y'all believe what she's saying? Y'all let me know what y'all think. So moving on to Krishan. So her and Julia went to see Blueface. And she was on live basically before she got to see Blueface. And they was on the phone talking the whole time. Then after she got out, Smiley drove her and she was talking about, you know, how she feel like the love between them two is real. She misses him and everything like that. She was explaining what happened during the visit. <laughs> Okay, babe. Well, I'm here. I'm here before your damn lawyer. I beat him. My experience was my prayer really did move something in the courtroom because I just felt different. Like, um, the homies was there, everybody was there. And then when I stood up and I was just standing up with my baby, and I was the only one to can walk and go touch him and kiss him and stuff. Um, It was beautiful for real because it was like we was bonding on the phone the whole entire time before we went in. And then like it was like we got like special privileges like, oh, OK, cool. OK. But I was so nervous. Like all I did was grab his hand. I just put the baby on his chest. He was holding him. And then I, don't, I was scared to kiss him. I was scared. I didn't know if we could touch him or not. That she would just like come forward. I'm like, I'm like, dude, man. <laughs> okay, so a lot of people in the comment section was not believing that Blueface actually held Junior, and Carlissa was one of the people that said uh, Blueface did not hold Junior either. And her going live talking about her experience just kind of went viral. And so Carlissa, she posted on her Instagram story, and she was like. My poor son, court wasn't even about him. And she felt that way because everybody was more so talking about what Krishan said in her live. And it was picking apart whether she was telling the truth or not about the things that went on. Because a lot of people were saying like, you know, the judge and the courts don't allow none of that stuff that she was saying. But I'm going to let her finish talking and I'm going to come back. Back with the baby, but it's crazy because when I first went to court, that's what I did the last time. And the judge, she let me... She let me do it. So she like, oh no, she can stand up. So this time it was like a full circle. I could tell that she noticed that my son got bigger or something because she looked at us, smiled. Didn't she say hi? Yeah, she said hi. What up, y'all? <laughs> I'm still shaking for real because it was like, damn. Like, and then she told me, she was like, yeah, come on, bring the baby. So I walked and gave him the baby and he, he was just holding the baby and I was just like holding him. I didn't know if I should kiss him or what. I don't know what I wasn't allowed to do to him. I was just like crying for real because I was just like, oh my God. He got all chunky. His beard is filling in a little bit. His hair is dreading up. <laughs> he was so shocked that they let you in. He was happy to see you. The way he was just holding him. <laughs> yeah, we was both shocked that she let me, like, I don't even know. He got to hold the baby, gave him a kiss. Right, he did. <laughs> it was so nice. I ain't gonna lie, that was really nice. That was nice. 
Especially I should have kissed him. I didn't know what to do. And you could tell he was scared. Like, I couldn't do too much. We don't know what we could do. I should have just kissed him. You should have just grabbed him. You should have put him in your back pocket and took him with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't trying to come on here and be crying and shit, but, you know, I miss my baby daddy. I don't care. And he really, like, y'all could call it jail talk, call it whatever. I think we too real. We passed that. Not like that, but. So this person in the comment section said, I don't believe a single thing she's saying, to be honest. The Lulu ad is finest. I'm trying to figure out where the F state she in with that D fur on. Smiley needs to go tend to her child instead of clout chasing off people. And y'all, I just said on my last video, Smiley be around everybody. And right there, agreeing with what everybody say. Whoever she around, whatever they talking about, she agreeing and hyping it up. So now Carly says in her feelings and she went live in the hot tub once again telling the same stories. Blaming Jaden and Krishan for why Blueface is in jail. Like she never hold him accountable for anything. It's always them, not him. So listen to what she had to say. Look at the two that's free to roam about and look at them. So when he come home, he know, okay, I got to watch these two when I'm with them or I got to move different or he got to talk to them and make them move different. Jaden threw a glass at the security guard, and that's how that got popping. The security guard was in left field from that point on. So when you when somebody throw a rock and it get popping, it's like yelling fire in a theater. You really responsible, but because they got a good dude, he took he took the shit himself. Rock punch a bitch in Vegas. He ain't supposed to be in Vegas, so he got problems in Vegas. That he needs to learn that them same people talking about they praying for you, they there for you. He got to learn on his own. If he was with Megan Thee Stallion or even Angie, women who don't move like that, he wouldn't be sitting there in that uh, pissy cell right now looking crazy. He wouldn't be sitting there like that. You feel me? Like you, that's why the Bible tell us to watch the company that we keep. It's a reason why they don't fuck with your mama. It's a reason. Now his friends, friends, his lady friends, they don't never have no problem with me. They fuck with me. They call me and check on me. They tell me how my son doing. They pray for my son. They don't do this weird You ain't never seen Jiggy get disrespectful with me, ever. You ain't never seen Angie in 10 years disrespect me, not ever. Them type of women don't do stuff like that. Them type of women that's over there, oh, I want them to myself. I don't want your mama to be in your life and... Your ha ha, your mama don't fuck with you, or ha ha, you don't fuck with your mama. Those is ill intentions in the mind. Because when they came home and told me what the fuck happened, I said, and then I didn't hear about the glass getting thrown until my son was getting charged. I said, oh, okay, there's more to the story that meets the odds. So this person said, and if his mama raised him right, he definitely wouldn't mess with those girls that helped him land in jail. Somebody else said, D, does she hold him accountable for anything? This lady can never mind her business. Someone else said she won't admit that he's the problem because that means she failed as a mother. So she's putting the blame on them. This behavior of my child can do no wrong. That's how he ended up in a gang and in jail. Not to mention the names he called her. She needs to stop getting posted. She don't care about her son or grandkids. She only care about getting posted on the internet and being famous. Sad part, she don't even know what's going on with nobody for real. Shut up, please. So she posted a picture with Megan Thee Stallion and Blueface and then she posted after that and said, I'm not trolling, I'm a comedian. Y'all mama just didn't give y'all a sense of humor. I don't want to kick with you anyway. I got retraining order on y'all and them kids in my son's voice. Keep it pushing. So I'm assuming she meant to type it wrong and she's saying that in her son's voice because that's probably how he pronounced restraining. But anyway, that's all I have for y'all in this video. Y'all let me know, do y'all believe... Blueface don't want to see Carlos coming in the courthouse crying or do y'all believe he just don't F with his mama like that why he don't want her there and how do y'all feel about Papa Blue posting Junior and not the other kids do y'all feel like Jaden is keeping him from the kids or do y'all feel like he chose a side y'all let me know in the comment section below I do comment back and I'll catch y'all on the next video bye <laughs>